a new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to get into today is using the Wick editor to create an animation of a spray paint can creating a graffiti tag. And so in order to get this animation rolling we're going to need a couple layers. Uh, we'll have a layer with text on it, a layer with what's called a mask on it, so that's what this shape is and it just gets smaller and reveals my text underneath it, and then a layer for the tween of the paint can. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle to this new document here in the Wick editor and to start we'll start with a text layer so I'm going to type with the text tool here and put in whatever the nickname is that you want to put for your graffiti tag and then take your arrow cursor tool click on this text and then you'll get the options to change fonts and all that fun stuff over here so can't remember exactly what font I went with. You could do this actually with like a scripty font as well if you wanted to do something that was a little bit more like um, drawn with a pen or something like that. Um, that you could also substitute in a pen or a paintbrush or something like that instead of a spray paint can. But going to go through the spray paint can uh, with the spray coming out of it and everything in this tutorial. I think this is a pretty good text because it looks kind of like handwritten and could be kind of like graffiti, but I could, I can't recall off the top of my head which font I had, but this one looks pretty cool too. Just kind of a bolder font, you know, something that looks like it could be part of the graffiti tag. And then I'm going to give my text just a slight rotation, so it's just going a little bit diagonal here. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll shrink it down just a little bit. All right, nice. So I'm going to call this layer text, actually. Just like to do that to kind of keep track of my layers and what's on which one. Uh, then I'm going to add another layer, layer two. And this one I will call can or spray can. All right, so what I'll do at this point is I'm going to start to draw a spray can here and put it on this layer. So I'm going to start with just a rectangular shape. Command Z. Let's make that a different color. Let's see. Let's go with something maybe like light blue or maybe like a light green. And then the outline, I usually like to go with like a four or five type of weight for an outline. And I'll just click and drag that to make a little rectangle here for my spray can. I do want to add a little bit of detail to the spray can as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my rectangle tool still actually. And then I'm just going to make these uh, other rectangles white, the ones that are going to go on top for like the spray nozzle. And so I'm just going to make another like rectangle here that kind of overlaps the top there and then one more kind of on top here that's a smaller more square one to be um, the tip and then I also want to do just like a little bit of bending to my lines. I'm going to use my path cursor tool and I'm going to take the bottom edge of this uh, rectangle and bend it down this way and then maybe take these rectangles in here as well and maybe I'll take my zoom tool zoom in on this area a little bit and maybe I'll work with bending these just a little bit as well just to kind of give the spray can a little more roundness of a feeling all right that's looking pretty good let's back out a little bit here and then I do want to add kind of like a dot for the um, like where the spray is actually going to come from so maybe I'll even just take my brush tool and just choose a fill color of black and then just hit that oops with a black dot that's going to kind of be where the spray comes from so i'm just going to click once there put that little uh, spray dot i did add i think a little couple extra detail lines along the edges of my can too um, which you can choose to do if you want so maybe i'll just drag a little pencil line along the bottom here didn't come out perfect. Again, you can always use your path cursor tool to try and morph lines that maybe don't come out the way you want them to. There we go. And then I can try and fill this in with the color white, just kind of on the edge there. Let's see. Nice. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. 
um, and now I think I'm ready to go to the next steps. So let's try to animate this, right? So uh, the way we're gonna animate it is by, let's add another new layer, and we're gonna add what's called a mask. So I don't know if I clicked it there. Yep, there we go. So layer three, we are gonna call this mask. All right, and then we'll go ahead and on this layer frame, we want to draw a rectangle with no outline. So I'm gonna hit zero for the outline, and I'm gonna draw a rectangle that covers the entire, oops, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna move this mask layer up above this, the text layer um, because, oops, maybe it didn't erase my shape. <laughs> I did not undo. So um, the mask should start out covering your entire um, name, right? Your entire graffiti nickname. All right, make it a little bit, I'm just shrinking it down so it just covers it. I don't want it to be like really super big. I want it to just barely cover it, which that looks pretty good, just barely covers it. Nice. So now what I'll do is start to animate this here. So I'm gonna take the mask layer and pull this out to 24, I think, and then I'll do the same actually with the spray can and the text. Let's do them all at the same time, actually. I think that works just fine. So uh, with the mask, we'll do the tween on the mask first, though. So I'm going to hit Add Tween, and then I'm going to go to the end frame, and then I'm just going to select the um, rectangle here with my cursor tool and shrink it down so it's like a sliver of a rectangle, and then just drag it over just to the right of my name. And so now we can see what that'll do when we play that tween. So it makes that shape shrink and it makes our name kind of appear gradually, All right? So um, what we want to do next, and um, I might actually adjust this a little bit so that maybe it has a pause at the end, but I can add that a little bit, a little bit of a pause later on as well. So. Um, now we want to animate the spray can, right? So we take the spray can layer, we'll hit add tween, and now basically what I'm going to do is just kind of move my scrub bar a little bit, and I'll see that now the uh, letter is being starting to be um, revealed. So I'm going to move the spray can to kind of line up with it there at that frame. And then I'm going to skip ahead another frame, and then I'm going to drag my spray can to kind of follow it. And then I'm going to keep going over, and maybe I'll skip a couple frames this time, and I'll kind of move the spray can again to sort of follow the shape of the letters. Now again, it's not going to be exact, um, but we can make it pretty close. You know, again, it's just an illusion. So now I'm going to move it to the next spot. As I keep going now, maybe I'll move it back kind of down this way. And then maybe I'll move this up to more of this side here. And then scrolling ahead, I'll move it kind of down to follow more this way. And then move maybe another couple frames. I'll move it up towards here. Keep on going. Maybe I'll move it this way. So we're just following the edge of our mask shape, basically. And then the last thing we're going to do after we get all the way to the end is add the spray that comes out of the spray can. So now when it's over, I'm just going to leave the spray can kind of right there on the edge. And let's give this a preview play. And there you got it. You got the spray can moving and the lettering coming out of it. And so, like I was saying, let's add a little bit of spray actually coming out of this spray can. So what we want to do is double click on this clip and we're going to add a new layer. We'll call this one spray. And I'm gonna move it up so it's the top layer. And click on this first frame. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is just take uh, the color that we have here. So I could use, it could be a color, um, but this actually the lettering was black that I used. So maybe that's just gonna be black uh, spray coming out of this. So 
let's take my brush tool and then I'm just going to click to make kind of like a dot and then I'm going to take my path cursor tool and kind of click on the edge of this dot and stretch it so that it creates like a raindrop type of shape there. And then I'm just going to stretch this spray uh, frame out to five and I'll stretch this one out as well. Maybe I'll go another one. And we're just going to add a tween to the spray, add a tween. And then on this fifth frame, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take my cursor tool, click on it, and try to expand it just a little bit bigger. The other thing I'm going to do is turn the opacity down so that it kind of fades. So when I hit preview play, you see that it kind of comes out, but it fades away. And the other thing we can do is maybe even make the beginning one, like this first one, I could shrink it down even smaller. And let's preview play that. So yeah, so it just kind of creates a little like spraying kind of action coming out of the spray can. And so that will move with the spray can that's on the tween here. Um, it'll just play on a loop as the spray can moves across. So it creates that illusion that the spray can is really creating this graffiti tag. So that's pretty much it to this uh, Wick Editor animation tutorial. Um, like I said, I may add like a little frame or two of like pause at the very end, just kind of dragging these frames just a little bit further down because then there would be a little more pause at the very end um, when you can just read the name. It could be even more. So, um, But that's how you would do that. And this is it for this computer animation tutorial. Hope you guys have fun and get creative creating your own graffiti name tags.